Hey guys, welcome back to um, episode 15, I think it is, of uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Inquisition? In... Quiz... In... I can't say it, but you know what the game is. Um, right, so... Oh, hello, what's in here? In the last episode... Oh, be quiet. The Inquisition cannot remain ambassador. If you can't prove, it was founded on Justinia's orders. This is an inopportune time, Marquis. More of the faithful flock here each day. But allow me to introduce you to the brave soul who risked his life to slow the magic of the bridge. It's Marilyn Manson. Master Lavellan, this is the Marquis Durellion, one of Divine Justinia's greatest supporters. And the rightful owner of Haven. House Durellion lent Justinia these lands for pilgrimage. <coughs> this inquisition is not a beneficiary of this arrangement. Right, uh, you own this land? This is the first I've heard of Haven having an owner outside the Chantry. My wife, Lady Machin of Denham, has claimed to Haven by ancient treaty with the monarchs of Ferelden. We were honoured to lend its use to Divine Justinia. She is a... She was a woman of supreme merit. I will not let an upstart order remain on her holy grounds. Right, so you want to fight me, do you? Look at them eyebrows. <laughs> Right, it's the followers need shelter. People have been injured. You can't just turn them out onto the snow. And who benefits if they stay? Divine Justinia, Marquis. The Inquisition, not the Chantry, is sheltering the pilgrims who mourn her. Why is the Chantry ignoring the faithful? Because it remains in shock. <sighs> She's good. If it's a dark time, Your Grace. Divine Justinia would not want her passing to divide us. She would, in fact, trust us to forge new alliances to the benefit of all, no matter how strange they might seem. I'll think on it, Lady Montillier. God, she's the Inquisition good. might stay in the meanwhile. Like his mask. Damn, she's got a good diplomat on dip. I can't even say my words. Does Marquis own Haven? You handled him well. Right, let's go this one first. Do the Durellions actually have a claim on this place? His Grace's position is not so strong as he presents it. Despite their Ferelden relations, the Durellions are Orlesian. If the Marquis wishes to claim Haven, Empress Selene must negotiate with the Ferelden on his behalf. Her current concerns are a bit larger than minor property disputes. Okay, you handled the Marquis well. I'm so pleased the Marquis isn't tossing us out into the cold. His Grace is only the first of many dignitaries we must contend with. You expect more people in Haven? Undoubtedly. And each visitor will spread the story of the Inquisition after they depart. An ambassador should ensure the tale is as complimentary as possible. You've got the job, love. Um investigate how did you become ambassador may i ask what brought you to work for the inquisition sister leliana approached me we've been acquainted for quite some time for better or worse being the inquisition's diplomat has become as interesting as she promised okay and what's your background what sort of dealings you're like i'm doing the job village? interview here for some years i was the royally appointed court ambassador from antiva to Orle. the nobility of thedas is a rather singular sphere those I'm not acquainted with, I know through reputation. Okay, and I'm glad you're here. The Inquisition is lucky to have you as an advocate, Lady Montillier. Thank you. Let us hope so. Thedas's politics have become agitated as of late. I hope to guide us down smoother paths. But please excuse me. I've much work to do before the day is done. Of course, of course. Right, I hope you guys can all see me alright, because the lighting's not very good. I'm just going to go put my light on a sec. Back one minute. I don't know if that's made much difference, if you can all see me, hi, if you can all see me all alright. Oh, okay, so I can't open that chest. Right, oh, hello, who are you? Menevere. You're the Herald, or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maeve. 
I research demons and other creatures. Oh, hello. Seeker Pentagast and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something for you. This could be interesting. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the tranquil and I will examine it. Okay, right. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. Uh, so you're a mage? You said you were a mage. No, just an apprentice. Uh. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be <laughs> danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed them. Well, you've come to the right the side, lad. Seeker Pentagast took me in, along with the Tranquil I was protecting. Investigate. Uh, you didn't join the rebels? I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the Veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. Uh, pity you aren't Dalish. Dalish, Dalish. And uh, let's go for this one. Let's see what happens. You might have done well among the Dalish. Our mages are encouraged to study safely. Fenner will take the Dalish. Don't let my lack of Valisvin fool you. He left the league. I was a proud member of my clan until my magic manifested. I think I've uh, upset her a little bit. They gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. Uh, that's awful. I'm not going to brag about my clan. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I'd started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. Okay, you protected the tranquil, tranquil. You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquil safe. Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. I'm trying to remember what the Tranquil are. I remember them. They can barely take care of themselves. Can't defend themselves at all. It's been a long time since I played Dragon Age. I like them better than most people. Okay, they're lucky to have you. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite, they're rational, <laughs> and they'll never get angry at you. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. Okay, and you re research creatures. <clears throat> Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our ah. can exploit when fighting various creatures. At the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear. For ah, she could be uh, very handy. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. I like her motto, a philosophy even. Frightening because we don't understand it. Right, goodbye. I'll speak with you later. Pardon Thank me. you again for what you've brought back. You're very welcome, friend. Right, turn in research. Thank you. Turn in research. Please tell me if you find something. Right, if so there's nothing. Anything, Else I can turn in. Okay, so oh there's a door down here. I hope that was the door. Right. Hey, I've got I've leveled up. Mother just sell. Right, let's go get a reward from the War Council room. Let's see what's happening here. Let's go over here. Right, is this the remaining Chantry clerics have declared? Roderick came to speak with me. Could you try not to antagonize him? Sure. If I offend the man so easily, perhaps he should try leaving me alone. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me try reading this again. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed, and at this moment we could not stop 
Al could not step foot in the cap into the capital without being attacked by a mob or arrested. We must convince the Chantry to make us entry into the city so we can show them the Herald of Andraste is not the monster they believe. Okay. Having the Herald address the clerics is not a terrible idea. You can't be serious. Mother Giselle isn't wrong. At the moment, the Chantry's only strength is that they are united in opinion. And we should ignore the danger to the Herald. Let's ask him. Uh, this may this is a terrible plan. I'm not worried. What can they do? It's just talk. Don't underestimate the power of their words. An angry mob will do you in just as quickly as a blade. I will go with him. Mother Giselle said she could provide us names. Use them. But why? This is nothing but a... What choice do we have, Liliana? Right now, we can't approach anyone for help with the breach. No idea what I'm doing here. Use what influence we have to call the clerics together. Once they are ready, we will see this through. Here comes my cat. Right. Address the chantry and... Oh, I've got to say it one sec. Come on. You can say alive. Oh, he's, he's just eating, so he's a bit heavy. One second, guys. Can say hello, ghost. Ghost, don't watch my tattoo. Don't be camera shy. Come here. Can say hello. Can say hello. Look at that face. Say hello. Ghost, say hello. Give the camera a wave. No. Okay, he's not going to say hello. He's a bit camera shy. <laughs> right. I'll try and play around my cat. Right, the remaining Chantry clerics have... Why does he always do this? He wants attention all the time. Right. The remaining Chantry clerics have declared the Inquisition heretical. Attempts to gather allies against the breach have been rebuffed. And it's... Made, right. I've just read the Aventai. Okay, so confirm. So I guess we're doing this mission now then. Okay, so we stop... I've got Vaseline on my tattoo. I've shown you on my tattoo in my Fallout one. If you've not seen it, where is it? There it is. If I can. Uh, there it is, I think. I don't know if you can see it properly. I've shown it in one of my Fallout videos. Um, I had that done this weekend. But anyway, I put Vaseline on it to help with the skin and the drying and the itches and whatnot. And my cats have a habit of coming up to me and just like licking the Vaseline off my arm. And now he's just playing dead in front of the door. What a strange cat. Yes. <laughs> he's, he's just started like licking. He's like lying down on his side. And he's there like that, like, licking his shoulder. And all of a sudden he's just shot up, rolled over and sprinted off. I don't know if it's because he's seen my other cat. But that was funny. I wish I could show you guys. <laughs> Stupid cat. Oh, that's made me chuckle, that has. Oh, I look tired. And bags under my eyes. Jeez. He's walking backwards. <laughs> they know who I am. Seeker, but I think they all know who we are. Your skills of observation never fail to impress <laughs> me, Varric. My Lord Herald. You're one of Leliana's people. What have you found? The Chantry Mothers await you, but so do a great many Templars. There are Templars here? People seem to think the Templars will protect them from... from the Inquisition. They're gathering on the other side of the market. I think that's where the Templars intend to meet you. So I've got a fight on our hands. Only one thing to do, then. Right, they wish to protect the people from us. Return to Haven. Someone will need to inform them if we are delayed. As you say, my lady. Okay, so I'm not going to uh, talk to her then. That's fine. Oh, what's this? Read. And his head suddenly weighs too much. <laughs> Do Tommy Simpson. Oh, it's the same one. And I'm guessing this was the same one as well. 
about his unfortunate oh wait about his unfortunate hair <laughs> the the avenue of a reflective thought the avenue is bad I'm not going to read all that because it's quite long but she's posing isn't she oh right I might as well level up while I'm here quickly uh, character record no character record abilities right so it's the knives I want to go into now and I've got one point to spend so what's this double daggers uh, flank attack you leap through the shadows twin fangs you just to do bad damage you flank your foes right okay so I'm going to learn that apply that to Y Okay, uh, attributes, behaviors. Right, is anyone else? Level up, no. Oh, uh, Tom Hardy's leveled up. Okay. Isn't this the cure one? Uh, Mind Blast, Revival. Oh, yeah, I definitely want that. Apply. Okay, everyone wait. Right, so that's everyone else leveled up. Right, then we'll have some bizarre. Let's see what's this way. Anything useful? Doesn't look like it. Stand wary, guardsman. The Inquisition is here, along with the Herald of Andraste. They say they found the knife here covered with the divine's blood. Let him pass. The Inquisition is the Templar's problem, and they'll fix it. Of course they will. We'll soon beat the Templars. The Templars, or as they say. But this is addressed to me, isn't it? She of the High Women repents. Gallows Master, hold thy hand. Hold it. Oh, it's just a poem. Examine. Okay, that's just an apple tree. Right, where are we going? Viri. This inquisition is heresy. You will not look on my doubt. Okay, address to clerics. Good people of Val Royal, hear me. Together, we mourn our divine. A naive and beautiful heart, silenced by treachery. You wonder what will become of a murderer. Well, um, is that me? Wonder no more. Behold, the so-called Herald of Andraste, claiming to rise where our beloved fell. We say. This is a false prophet. No the elf? The would say no elf in our hour of need. Let us talk peacefully. We came here in peace, simply to talk. And this is what you do. I implore you, let us sit down together to deal with the real threat. It's true. The Inquisition seeks only to end this madness before it is too late. It is already too late. The Templars have returned to the Chantry. They will face this Inquisition and the people will be safe once more. Who? Uh, what? Still yourself. She is beneath us. Uh, Say, so am I supposed to impress? Right, how dare you? Uh, am I supposed to impress? Not here for us then? Confused or like that? He hit a woman. We wanted to call, come in peace. I'm going to confront him. Maybe if I confront him, then the Chantry will join us. What's the meaning of this? Her claim to authority is an insult, much like your own. Lord Seeker Lucius, it's imperative that we speak with. You will not address me. Lord Seeker, 
creating a heretical movement, raising up a puppet as Andraste's prophet, you should be ashamed. You should all be ashamed. The Templars failed no one when they left the Chantry to purge the mages. You are the ones who have failed. You who'd leash our righteous swords with doubt and fear. Okay. If you came to appeal to the Chantry, you are too late. The only destiny here that demands respect is mine. Templars, join us as Cullen did. Then why are you here? You refuse. The Herald help is close to breach. Right, let's say that. Although they're going to call Cullen a traitor, aren't they? Sorry. It. Templars, one of your own commands the Inquisition's forces. Join us as he did. <laughs> a staunch and loyal member of the Order. So loyal, he abandoned them for a false herald. But Lord Seeker, what if he really was sent by the Maker? What if... You are called to a higher purpose. Do not question. I will make the Templar Order a power that stands alone against the Void. We are about to have a throw down. recognition. Independence. You have shown me nothing. And the Inquisition... Less than nothing. Templars, Val Royo is unworthy of our protection. Nah. We march. Well, that didn't go as good as expected, did Charming it? Charming fellow, isn't he? Has Lord Seeker Lucius gone mad? How well do you know him? Will he see reason? So much for Templar help. We'll find another way. How well do you know him? Do you know him very well? He took over the Seekers of Truth two years ago, after Lord Seeker Lambert's death. He was always a decent man, never given to ambition and grand... Maybe family. he's possessed. This is very bizarre. Will he see reason? Do you think he can be reasoned with? I hope so. If not him, there are surely others in the Order who don't feel as he does. Either way, we should first return to Haven and inform the others. That our meeting went tits up. Let's go see if this bird's all right after she got punched. This victory must please you greatly, Sika Cassandra. We came here seeking only to speak with the mothers. This is not our doing, but yours. And you had no part in forcing our hand? Do not delude yourself. Now we have been shown up by our own Templars, in front of everyone. And my fellow clerics are scattered to the wind along with their convictions. Just tell me one thing. Do you truly believe you are yes, the I chosen? Yes, I do. I do, yes. I do believe it. Do you have a better explanation? Several, but are they the truth? I am Sounds like she's coming over to our cause. I suppose it is out of our hands now. We shall all see what the Maker plans in the days to come. Right, investigate. Uh, what do you believe about me? You're obviously sceptical. What do you believe I am? Our Divine. Her Holiness is dead. I have seen evidence for everything. Except what would comfort me. Hmm. That doesn't answer my question. For you to be true, a great many things must be false. A great many things must have failed. There is chaos ahead, whatever your intentions. Okay, and what will the Chantry do now? So what happens now? Will the Chantry continue to denounce me? <laughs> we have already done so. And what good has it done us? Now it falls on us to select a new divine, if we can. And leave the next step to her. Provided such a selection is even possible. I thought she was talking behind me then. <laughs> Any revered mother who could have followed Justinia died at the conclave. What becomes of us and your inquisition is in the maker's hands now. Okay, uh, where have the Templars gone? How many Templars have rippled? How are people reacting? Let's go from the top to bottom. Where is the Lord Seeker taking the Templars? can't begin to guess the Lord Seeker's mind. He could not have abandoned his intended role more completely. There must be sense to what we can't see. He's been possessed. 
Rebellion seems popular in certain quarters, doesn't it, Seeker? Is crafting the Templars into a new power really any worse than declaring a rival to the Chantry itself? Okay, uh, what did you want him to do? Bloody hell, there's more. What were you hoping the Lord Seeker would do exactly? This just seems to be like a talking episode. War against the mages and find common purpose against something much more dire. Obviously, he has other plans. With the knights vigilant slain at the conclave, there is nothing more we can do. Perhaps there is something we can do. I'd like to believe that, Seeker. I truly would. I suppose we can expect renewed efforts against the mages from him. And we'll protect you. Alright, I'll start this somehow. You could still help us. It's not too late. The Chantry could still help us and come out on top. If only that were true. What's to stop you from trying? We are not looking for a winning horse. We are then join us anyway is the right thing to do. Right, okay. Um see what this bell's got for sale. Like well how they all wear masks. Uh it's true. That's what we're attempting, yes. No one is doing anything. Chantry is useless, Templars, Andraste. I never thought they'd abandon us. Listen, your camp will need food. I have contacts. We'll have deliveries there in the <laughs> Hey, we got ourselves an ally. We want to help the Inquisition. Never been part of something this big before, but if your Inquisition's going to seal the sky, that means we can have apples. I want to help. Uh, Cassandra? Alright, let's see what Cassandra has to say. What do you think, Cassandra? I think the woman is asking you and <laughs> me. Well, he is. The Herald of Andraste. Yes, I understand. Hazel Corn. is a mess, but we won't turn away anyone willing to help. Invite her, if it pleases you. Uh, Alright, go to Haven. Head to Haven, then. We need good people. I don't know if I'm that, but... Boom, we've got I some free food. Thank you. Boom, I like them apples. Maybe, can I convince this What's guy to that? come? An arrow with a message? Eh? An arrow with a message. Ever since our divine was murdered, toothless old fools are lost without. No idea, but there's plenty to do around here. Right, guys, I'm just going to end this episode here because um, I'm going to go get another coffee, um, <coughs> and I'll leave that as a talking episode. And I'll be back in a second. Bye.